We often think all intimate relationships reliably progress from the initial meet cute to giddy infatuation, to a series of small trials and tribulations, and finally to a blissful state of happily ever after. It's a satisfying narrative we see all the time in the movies. However, in reality, love is a journey without a final destination. Developing a relationship takes time and involves certain cynical stages. In this video, I will share with you the five stages of a relationship that everyone should know. 1. Attraction All couples experience this phase. It occurs when you are beginning to get to know each other. It might also be called fantasy phase or honeymoon stage because your partner can appear perfect in your eyes during this time. People in this stage of a relationship will often feel as if they found their perfect match, someone who is so very similar and compatible with them. The two individuals involved seem to merge or at least feel eager to do so. How long this phase lasts vary, but it can be anywhere from a few months to about two years. On average, phase one lasts about three months. This stage is a lot of fun but it is not always sustainable. It is possible for whatever you feel for your partner to fade out on its own during this stage. People who are constantly changing partners are often trying to remain in this stage. Substantial dopamine levels, norepinephrine and even oxytocin are released into your brain when you are attracted to someone. These chemicals make you giddy and euphoric. You lose your appetite, suddenly develop insomnia Feel an intense rush of emotions whenever you see the person, unnecessary smiles and laughter are all side effects of this little chemical haywire. During this period, the feeling is fantastic, but this brain glow can often lead us to become addicted to our partners and ignore incompatibilities, red flags or other issues. 2. Doubt and Denial This stage often will begin to creep in slowly during your relationship but will sometimes happen all at once. In this stage, people finally start actually to notice the difference between them and their partners. We wake up from the trance of infatuation with a thump, finding that the same qualities that once seemed so perfect have begun to annoy us. The reality phase typically lasts about six months or as long as it takes for both individuals to decide you want to stay together. In this stage, disappointment escalates, so make biological responses to stress. Feelings of love mixed with alienation and irritation are generated and partners begin to think perhaps we're not perfect for each other after all. This is often where relationships end because one person decides they've made a selection mistake. But if individuals can accept each other's flaws, you can progress to the next level. Depending on his or her personality and circumstances, a partner may want to fight or withdraw. For example, you may feel the need to fight to defend your values, which may translate into the desire to have everything your way. It makes little sense to expect another person to be like we are, and yet at some level, many of us do tend to ask, why aren't you like me? And this is usually a big struggle. 3. Intimacy If you and your partner have decided to get serious, you've landed at the intimacy stage of a relationship. Although the words may conjure an association with physical intimacy, this stage focuses on vulnerability. In reality, it is incredibly tough to be vulnerable with another person and to reveal parts of yourself that are not ideal. But this phase often opens you up to it. This intimacy stage is the part of dating that is true and raw. The intimacy stage is the stage when trust is usually shared. It is when you are getting to know your partner in their true self. You see their insecurities, you are vulnerable with each other. In this stage, you will realize that what you have is more profound than fun, exciting and sexy. It is a bond and trust that ought to keep you together. However, this stage is confusing because at this point, the power struggles in the relationship have come fully to the surface. Some people become perpetually vigilant, ready to fly into battle at the slightest provocation. Other couples might quietly move apart over time putting less and less energy into maintaining the relationship and investing more outside of it. After relating to each other on a completely open level, couples can then move on to the final stage of commitment in a relationship, the partnership stage. 4. Decision The fourth stage of a relationship is called a decision because you are at a breaking point. It can also be called the commitment stage. 
Now you have seen the kind of person your supposed partner is. The commitment stage is all about consciously deciding that this person is the one for you. Many individuals are scared of making commitments with others. They instead remain on this fence. But in this round, you cannot be on the fence. You are either in it or out of it. Meanwhile, your partner would have correctly shown their true colors to you. So it is time for you to decide whether or not you want to go further into it. After a fight, emotional breakdowns, leaving the house for hours to get away from each other and self-protective behaviors are all commonplace. So too is indifference and remoteness. You know you are here when you begin to seriously contemplate leaving and even make plans for exiting the relationship. You may feel ready for an exciting new beginning with a new person. In this stage, we'll make a decision. Whether that's to leave, to stay and do nothing despite how miserable we are or to stay and work on fixing this relationship. For example, you recognize that your partner is a whole different human being with their own set of flaws, dreams, goals, needs and wants. But you decide to be with them anyway. 5. Stability Few couples make it this far, even couples who are married. In this stage, you are indeed a team and have progressed through the other four stages of love. In Dayton, this is the stage where you can get married and feel comfortable with that decision. It is a stage of mature and sustainable love that lasts forever in an ideal world for the happy couple. You no longer miss the attraction stage because that would mean being with a new person and you don't want that. You have a vision for the future together as a couple. This is also an essential stage for couples to use to evaluate the relationship and their ability to be part of an emotionally intelligent relationship. Open and honest conversations should be happening as couples plan their present and future together. Questions about children, finances, careers, future goals and lifestyle should be discussed more fully. Differences are normal and couples will learn about themselves and their relationship as they note how they handle these differences with each other. Engagements can be broken much more quickly and can be a better decision than getting married and divorced. Relationships are not always easy. It takes a lot of work to cultivate them. While every relationship is unique in its way, there are typically five stages every couple goes through and how you handle them will determine if the relationship will move to the next level. If you're one of our great fans who have been wanting to know who is behind this channel, now you can know. Kindly check the description box to join Steve Courage's personal channel, learn directly from him or ask him any questions. Thanks.